don't cease to well, to say hello to anybody you come across with. Let's allow Tate Mapile to welcome us and open the event officially. Thank you. Mila, Mika, eh, Chakula, Limosa, Rita, eh, Ma, Kalu, Nyenga, Mawa, Sita, Jilawi, Jimona, Gwa. Wale, Wale, Gama, Afrika, eh, Kine, Joko, Kote, Giti, eh, Wale, Min, Bila, Lo, Na, Muna, Kele, Pasha, Na, Le, Chau, Ulo, Ri, Ulo, Wawa, Tu, Kimo, Chawa, Ra, Kanye, Na, Shabi, Ro, Kito, Ulo, Sama, Pila, eh, Jimu shimana jawa asku kune, par na asku kune kia inga asku kune, sicha wake zwata la, wana siku kuna mashiu, eh, yeye zake lime kusa yana wote kita maendele sabumari, eh, wale haki ipe jina jasha, eh, kita sha haki kiani ni la ha, eh, nika mpoke lingati, rata on behalf of the University of the Free State, specifically the University of the Free State Library and Information Services, to welcome all of you. And I believe that uh, the bulk of the people that are here today are what I would call my stakeholders on the project that we are launching today. Uh, Libraries wanted books, but books were nowhere to be found. So, Katamaya Hahul, 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 H so recently, so recently, I had a number of conversations. Um, I think I met Mayor from Pensalp, Mayor Matebu. We spoke and we agreed on certain things. I spoke to the SRC and we agreed on certain things. Aholo holo gabua le me nguban from the Academy for Multilingualism. We agreed on certain things. So, anti kita mai kan, jenama mai ni kan, fuma na menyoko two or three days ago. Wama tahu umur. Eh, itu asalnya was arranging the visit ya, kita jemput dia. Eh, in that conversation, we were able to find a slot, and we informed that each Monday, our authors in the Free State and South Africa, in particular those in indigenous languages, they will have an opportunity at the CDF. Um, okay. 
kakopana leta ati degi kimani san san bona e kubana ba dar hati si tan totaro nama the quality of san bona ni i don't have to explain it so ladies and gentlemen i'm i'm, I'm saying all these things so that you understand that you are here as stakeholders to ensure that the baobao that we we planned in today does not die as soon as we leave here we are not politicians we are not going to have speeches things must happen in total la media ta ha eh hona le baeng ba o tloka ha o ba tsong bi tori eh i was quite fortunate eh that i went to school in that day my the national librarian so we've been having those conversations to say but where are the classics where are the books and when he came to visit he agreed that he will follow up and it was quite exciting that when i sent the invite he said no we are on course so we we are going to be committing here i'm sorry that i'm putting you under pressure that my hand na ke sabata u wala no eh go gains the mona for the message of support ke go baba le ye ha ba ha ho na le therutse eh wana sa marine ya go tsana ta o fihlela so eh on that note eh, ladies and gentlemen le amuheti eh let's let's build our languages for those who develop africans is an academic language they did not do that sleeping they did not have so many conversations and meetings and minutes and all those things they made a decision and they were decisive and today we are here arthur da thank you very much ya de bo ka tsho ye monate ha re ke re a bo hele me moloko yane ke na director ya library are amohele re ya uka ho ditse ka ba hore ke di ha ke di puo ke na ke nyane ba rona tsa ma Africa ne okay eh thank you very much madam po le tsa tshila le gholo e tsa tsila ka tshego na mosi na mhlanje is one of the most significant days in the history of the university of the where we are embracing who we are ra ikamogela and 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 as we do this it's an opportunity for us to heal from what has been taken in the past by colonizers people who stripped us of our dignity our humanity our pride who we truly and really are now we are decolonizing and africanizing who we are and and i'm glad that the seed today is planted here at the university of the free state i read one book and i can't finish that book because every time i read that book i'm wet up africa must unite by former president of Ghana the late president of Ghana Kwame Nkrumah if you have time read that book it will make you know who you are value yourself now today we are planting that seed here that pan african seed here at the university of the free state and i'm going to say this i said to marcus marcus i want to see a chemistry book in sosoto That's that's the the one thing I want to see before my my contract expire or I leave a chemistry book written in Sesotho. And 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 we take it from there. Right now we are embracing the young talents in the free states for, for starters. We are going to go into Africa and 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 build on our Swahilis, our Kinyarwandas, all these languages, African languages. This is the foundation today. This is the seed that we are planting as the University of the Free State. 
the stakeholders of the University of the Free State. You see, we are not doing ordinary things. We are doing extraordinary things. So this is just, I even wore this jacket because now that is what it symbolizes to me. To say now we are taking a step further. So I'm very, very grateful and glad and, and, and I'm so happy for all the staff members that are involved in this uh, project. And I'm just excited about it. So thank you very much. Our students, our students, this is an opportunity. Do not miss it. I'm going to take one more minute. When my children started at primary school, when they came home, they wanted to speak English. And by the way, I majored in English at Edge University. And I was teaching English in a high school. And they started speaking English. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. They said, ma. But teacher says, I said, tell teacher that when you leave the classroom, you leave the English at the door. You'll get the English tomorrow morning. I never allowed my children to speak English in my house. Even today, I don't allow my children to speak English in the house. It doesn't matter whether they are fluent, as long as they can communicate and they are understood, I'm satisfied. Now we are taking this, who we are, and saying we are going to be the Harvard, the Stanford of Africa. Thank you very much. Oh, two mics. Um, okay. Kia me. Kia program director. Um, the University of the Free State, particularly the library and the Department of uh, African Languages, um, the Pen South African Language Board, our colleagues from National, who I've seen here, and uh, everybody who we relate to. <clears throat> the Department of Sport, Arts, Culture and Recreation, through its language services, would like to express a word of support to the University of the Free State on the occasion of the inauguration of the African Languages Press. This venture, though some would say, it is long overdue, we say it has come at the right time. Program Director, 2019 was declared by UNESCO as the year of the indigenous languages. The lessons learned from the experiences of that year gave rise to the decade of indigenous languages being 2022 to 2032. This designation is aimed at building a global community for indigenous languages. The African Languages Press of the University of the Free State has, therefore, come at an opportune moment. Uh, the Los Pinos Declaration, which came out of a conference organized by UNESCO and held in Mexico in February, used the slogan, Nothing for us without us. This is an indictment on us to come forth and be part of the history um, the effort is being made today. This declaration of Los Pinos highlights, among others, the implementation of the internationally recognized rights of indigenous languages, being, um, among others, uh, in, entailing what the UN Declaration on the Rights of uh, Indigenous Language Peoples in 20 and 2007. Also, uh, the United Nations system-wide action plan on the rights of indigenous languages people in 2017. <clears throat> also, the UNESCO Convention Against Discrimination in Education, that was way back in 1960. All this show that indigenous languages have been central to United Nations, have been central to UNESCO, and have been central throughout the world. The Pinos uh, the Los Pinos Declaration emphasizes, as a prerequisite for their survival, the indigenous people's rights to, one, freedom of expression, two, 
and education in their mother tongue, and three, to participate in public life using their own languages. The Constitution was Ladi papadi bonono bo chaba le boikgathollo re finne di mo re semelletse ka thata go nete fatsa re puo tsa rona ha di fete le sewa sena sa lefu la dipuo tsa setso re a leboa hore engwe ya ditshia tse kgolo ya di re a tseba hore engwe ya ditshia tsa kgolo ya puo ke bongodi re na le megatlo ya bangodi e ka ba mashome a mabedi mona free start e nang le bangodi ba ka ba magolo a mahlano ba o boholo ba bona ba dutseng ka di manuscript tse hlokang ho hatiswa le ho phatlatsa ha se ka mehla go jwana ya rona e khonang ho apesa bana bohle go bane di chelete tsa mmuso di lokela ho arolelana le ho sebetsa mafapheng a mang ka ho re alakatsa ho thusa bangodi impa ha se ka mehla re fihlelang takatso ya rona ka mehla re ala ka tsa o thusa bohle empa le a tseba hore monoko tswai ha o botswe ho ya ka takatso ya tswe therefore program director when initiatives of this kind of the african language press are taken by our local universities in this case particularly the university of the free state we have to clap hands and applaud all those behind the good move we know like any other project this will not be an easy road we however know and believe in the fact that this is a response to a just cause that has been planned by experts in this field and it will be executed as such. We know that you will never fail because the Department of Sport, Arts, Culture and Recreation will always be a knight in shining armor at your side. We wish you well. Thank you. Center for Multilingualism Thank you very much, President Director. Uh, the University of the State, uh, we thank to acknowledge uh, our excellent stakeholders, um, leaders of different faculties, departments, uh, I greet you all, all protocols of this. Um, thank you, Mayor Janet, for inviting me to celebrate with the library on the back of the new baby, the African Language Press. I am honored. Oh, I forgot to say, um, I'm, I'm looking for the uh, Thank you for creating our event today. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have four minutes now. I've already said my greetings. I have four minutes now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so as, as I was sitting down listening to the speakers before me, a lot of uh, questions flooded my mind and uh, my mind. So um, I'll, I'll come to that later. But um, while I was uh, preparing for this event, I, I came across um, a beautiful piece of writing by Peter Lloyd back in 2012. He said that 7,000 of languages in, in the world, they face extinction and 11 of those languages are in South Africa. And um, yeah, I was, I was very, very shocked. And then it came to me that um, we have a huge responsibility to make sure that our languages do not die in our era. To make sure that we preserve our languages, not in our name. Because our next generation will ask us, where were you when our languages died? What was your role? What did you do? And we'll be 
so ashamed. So I'm, 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 I'm calling to every one of us because the fact that we are gathered, all of us here, it means that we feel that we have a responsibility to preserve our languages. And um, the constitution of our country, um, section 6.2, it also recognizes um, that uh, our languages, especially indigenous languages, they need uh, to be promoted, to be advanced. So we are here to say that today we take a pledge together with the library. Uh, we pledge our support as the uh, Academy for Multilingualism to work with you in partnership so that we take this, um, um, this responsibility of advancing our languages through the promotion of indigenous languages. We say that we are going to promote aspiring writers that um, that um, um, forget. Uh, we are looking forward to work with you to mentor the writers, especially those people who are going to be writing in indigenous languages. Because our young people, they come to the library, but they do not get books in their indigenous languages. Yet we say, why are you not reading into Soto? Why are you not reading into Sulu? And then they say, where are the books? So the African Languages Press today is saying that we pledge our support. We are going to mentor those. We are going to run workshops with Ndajabu Fokeng and other, and other um, uh, scholars and writers. We are going to um, hold those workshops to mentor those uh, aspiring writers. We pledge our support. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for not using the other language. I feel it's the day for an African language. I'm not going to be sorry, yes, but I'm really just being polite to people who don't understand Sutu. Kikupa many kiwe matebula from pencil. Atorefa uoya hai, litieto ya hai. I come from the Pencil of the Line Board and it's got a very broad mandate to show respect for all people around this and to promote my children. And can I have a panicure? We still keep on doing what we have been doing uh, all along. Chipo pe arona rori kisa tawayo a holo lo kama sebe tsuna. Rasebe tali di kolo hana di komiti zafa pane hone te fata odi kota rona di a hola. We work with schools, school governing bodies as parents in schools when there's a proposal 
that we only have English and Africans in the school. Let's introduce the school to Oswana Swat. Let you as parents not be the first ones to say, no, we don't need those languages. Can we just try to change that as Africans? That's the only way we can promote our languages and ensure that they grow. What we also do with the language board, we've got spelling and orthography rules to promote our languages. Quality, because I will just make an example with the word Kwakwa. I think the university has a Kwakwa campus. Ne? So uh, the National Geographical Names Committee is responsible for naming the places, etc. So the challenge that we have, hence we've got this committee, is that you find when you write Kwakwa, many different people write it in different ways. And that shouldn't be, it should be standard. So we have the national language body that ensures that we write the same. It can be some people write Kwakwa, the first Q is capital letter, others the second Q is small letter. Others the first Q and the second Q is the you know, capital letters. Others put a dash in, in between. So that's the work that we also do to ensure that um, we've got standardization in our languages. What we also do, terminology verification and, and authentication, native uh, uh, Let's talk about having a book, I think she said in physics, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So we want to get to a point where at this university, a student has a choice to say, I want to study in my own language. There are other learners who have a choice to say, I want to study in Africans. But when it comes to Isizulu, Isikosa, Iswana, Siswati, and all other languages, there isn't that option. Hence, there is a multilingualism academy, the work that this library is doing. We are working towards ensuring that we achieve that. Because for that to happen, it's upon us to do it. No one is going to do it for us. How about a So in short, uh, program director, um, we support this work. It's a good work that is being done by the university. And I believe that it's uh, one of many uh, where we will ensure that uh, with terminology verification, verification in partnership with the Pan South African Language Board, we will have different terms. I know the Central University of Technology has already produced their terminology in um, engineering, civil engineering. So we want to see this in all academic subjects where learners can have the opportunity to also get those study guides in their own languages. That is the only way we can grow our languages. So in terms of book, uh, we support that. We want to have good quality material uh, from the university. And as the language board, we are responsible for ensuring uh, quality control. This university press. I hope the challenges of um, African uh, writers uh, will be um, will be addressed. So, let's have pride in our own languages. Uh, let's support them, and let's not discriminate against each other on the basis of language. Ruki said that you. When we know we have resources, let's use them to ensure that we include uh, everybody. But Congratulations to you, and we're looking forward to the change to ensure that we include all our languages in literature and other aspects. Thank you. Hello, Mantua, how may to buy Shape Fatsi? Haseka Bomo, Kibuans, so to get a bill, a pomo to art a bill. Unta Boya high, who from the heart. Joel Kikopari Amuhele Ndate Jacob Livuyo Jacobs, SRC President, Ya University Mona. Ita he Ndate Uto Hupfa Mantue Ahau, Ure Amuhele Kahara, Charity Ahau. Oh, Kibulela Hore Hayo. Oh, Kio Afisha Putaka Hataka. Let me just take this opportunity to welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Kimelo Kaba. I just wanted to actually reiterate the fact that the president is, was currently in Kwako just to go and make sure that things are stable and everything, but he's on his way back now. So he just asked me to step in for him just for this moment. So I just wanted to actually bring that into light that the president was not available, but he just asked me to come. So um, as I did mention, my name is Kimelo Kaba and I'm the SRC Arts and Culture here at the University of the Free State. Um, so when I was told also about this initiative, it's actually something that was very interesting. 
which is something that I think is good for equipping students as well because our library is actually something like such launches I think that should actually be very beneficial to students as well because it's not only thing that we think um, are for decision stakeholders as well and everything like that. When I had an engagement with the president as well with other SRC members, we had engaged the party to actually see um, what how beneficial such initiatives and programs will be in our student populace basically in the University of Fiji. So with to all the organizers and everyone else that has made this program a success, we'd like to actually thank you very much for being here and actually thank you very much for taking this initiative into your own hand and ensuring that things are actually um, go, in, go according to plan within our university and to actually maintain the standard that we have kept for such a long time. So I really, really hope that we are going to learn a lot from this program and that we are actually going to grow and equip each other moving forward. So with those being said, I'd like to thank you all and I hope that you feel welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm? Usabui. Kikupa Musa, National Library of South Africa. Ato refa mantu ya mabedi. Ati yezo. Kerebona. Mirikula mekuni. Menoktula Musa. I'm from the National Library of South Africa representing Mr. Kekuma Dimo, the National Librarian and the CEO, who is currently out of the country due to official business. Lina Giba Taobua Sisutu, but Sisutu Saga says in very limited. I'm Zulu, but I'm also learning to speak in the community Giba Sisutu. From the National Library of South Africa, I would like to really acknowledge of to acknowledge all partners uh, that are here without actually mentioning names by, uh, by names, but we really um, we are very grateful uh, that the National Library of South Africa was considered to be one of the partners uh, for this uh, launch and for this project because we are not only here for the event, I think we are here for the long haul. We are here for, uh, all the way. So as the National Library, just to briefly uh, tell people what we are and who we are, we are an entity of the Department of Arts and Culture. Our mandate were created uh, through an act, and our job is to collect, record, preserve all, all the national documentary heritage that is um, emanating from or relating to South Africa. So what that means is that everything that will be published here, we are supposed to be custodian. It has to be deposited in the National Library. Our job is to preserve it for future generations to, to have access to it. And uh, also coming from the point of view of being a librarian, uh, I've been a librarian for many years and worked in different places. We've been crying about one thing, the same thing that the director mentioned, written by us, about our life, our lived experiences in our life lives. And then we are saying the culture of reading is that or black people don't read, but they are only the book, a read. They read, but they are very limited. And so we had a national, we hosted a national reading summit um, in 2021, where we brought uh, stakeholders, instead of just assuming, you know, what is happening on the ground. So we brought all stakeholders in one room, it was a virtual one room, uh, to, to actually map and find out exactly what is happening in the country in terms of reading initiatives. And one of the main things that came out as one of the, the challenges that uh, was highlighted by practitioners, stakeholders who are involved in the, in the reading space, we do not have adequate uh, books written in our indigenous languages. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why the culture of reading in among some of some of our communities is so low. So we have been, we've got a number of initiatives that we are doing as a national library. Uh, somebody mentioned the classics. Yes, we are uh, reprinting classics. Uh, we've got about 400 titles that we identified to be classics in South Africa in all indigenous languages. The project has started some years back. But uh, now we have uh, reprinted 95 titles, 185,000 copies, 
and distributed them through public libraries and during many events of governing for people to access them. We are also, uh, for the authors as well, we have a project uh, which we call Community Publishing Program, where we are helping emerging authors uh, to get their books published. The project started in, in 2015, and to date we have, um, helped, we have helped in producing 95 uh, titles. And one of those titles that we produce, which we are very, very proud, we, we were able to, it's one of the uh, languages that have become extinct, or that is about to become extinct in new language. Um, we, um, there's one, there are few speakers of the language for many on earth. Oma Katrina in Northern Cape is one of those people in Africa. So we were able to record her stories and they were written, and the NLSA working together with other partners like Google, uh, Children's Literature Foundation, we produced and launched a book in new language. So we are really trying as well to uh, look at those languages and not only limit ourselves to the 11 indigenous languages. So we are very excited to be part of this um, uh, this initiative that has been uh, uh, taken uh, by the university, a very bold initiative, a real and meaningful contribution to our society in addressing the gap in producing books written in our indigenous uh, language. We really want to congratulate the university. The National Library is behind you, we support you. We will obviously want to work with you as well. We want, we'd like to partner. We are looking at an opportunity of a partnership. Because somebody spoke about the quality as well. So that the books that we also continue to publish as well, we work together in terms of sharing expertise and, and the language um, department. Uh, we also hoping that they will be working with us or assisting us as well. We, we also hope that one of the main responsibilities that the National Library has, we are a legal deposit. We are a national legal deposit. We've got two campuses, one in Cape Town and in Pretoria. And um, we are hoping that uh, they will be compliant <laughs> from this uh, press. All books published here will be deposited. And uh, obviously, we are now uh, pledging our support and congratulating the university. Kikupa Hubita, Emongwa di Membarata Board of ed the ed Editorial Board, Dr. Elias Malidi. Atlatibo Hurefa, Mea Muheleli, the Publishing Partners. I go away. I the <laughs> Then I don't forget, by Chitty Bosheba, University Quan, a Chavasebo Canon Quan, if you look at me full of me, you may be sure I have a lot of goods Africa, one of one, South Africa, may like to be Sakala for a request or two, be a hint, the season, and the one said delay. A common driver of the fellow happy. The Household, 
Today's a happy year, Ik 
that two things that are highlighted in the uh, South African Language Community is a policy. And those things are the first one, it is the development and I mean, the promotion of multilingualism. Me, Tabayo, Yamatimina, the University of Free Stata, maybe it is coming from the average. Me, Tabayo, Yamatimina, it is the only one. We must bring back the dignity of the African languages so that they, we can uh, take from them that indigenous knowledge that they have. In the case of Asia, we have a lot of people who are in the country. We have a lot of people who are in the country. We have a lot of people who are in the country. We have a lot of people who are in the country. We have a lot of people who are in the country. Impanako is a rigile, Haholu, Kikupa, who beats a director, Yasan Bonani Media, Ntate David Uha, Itantate Utorifa Lichas. Um, Dumela Bon Date Bon Me, uh, my name is David Uwa um, from Sambonani Media. I would like to start by acknowledging all stakeholders and all protocols of ZELD. I would like to start by saying that my first encounter when I walked into this place was with Me Dimpo. And she accosted me and made me feel like I was in Basutu land. So I want to thank you, Matt. And if you take note of her first, uh, uh, when she came on, on the podium and spoke, she was referring to myself when she uh, made an excuse for not speaking English and to rather to speak Susutu. Um, I would like to say this. Um, I did my first year at this university in 1998. And it is with great joy and pleasure that I have come back here to witness the African languages press. Mejanet, thank you. Ndate Marcos, thank you. I have indeed traveled across the African continent as well. And currently the African Union has endorsed Swahili as an African language. And to have this press highlighting our indigenous language is, is a great honor and a great milestone. And I am so glad that as Sambonani, we are part of this. And I would like to reiterate that we are going to take our indigenous language to other parts of Africa. I would like to um, express joy in, in this particular event. And that is why I, I asked everybody from my office to grace this occasion. So if you'd like to stand up, ladies. This is, this is to show how very important we take this lunch and this press. And together we are going to ensure that you get quality. And we're going to ensure that every I's are dotted and every commas are inserted. And thank you so much for having us here. Thank you so much for having us as, uh, as your partners. Thank you. Wow, ladies, they can be really more. We wanna have a little bit of delay, detail. Recupe Ausmanini, kapo memanini nyoko. Wali sebi kure atuka kamfamula yeta wati yutiye. Thank you.
very much, Program Director, and I would like to greet you all. My name is Manilin Yokong. I'm the Programs Manager for Lesedi FM. Lesedi FM is a station that broadcasts in Sesotho, to Sesotho speaking and understanding people. We are able to broadcast in seven of the nine provinces in South Africa with a huge spillover into Lesotho. But our main footprint is in Free State, Gauteng, and the Northwest. We are the third biggest PBS station in the country, the fourth biggest station, and the biggest station in the Free State, with um, just over 4 million listeners. And our mandate is to educate, inform, and to entertain. As Lisa DFM, we are very happy that we were invited to grace this event because with the launch of the African Languages Press, we will be able to also deliver our mandate of educating and informing people. Get a whole whole naked money, the whole naked house over a day. Satsin <laughs> Ba mamedi ba o manya tsatsi le tshabang le le ditela ka puo e o re bua le ka gore ha re bitsi ha re hiri di bohudi tsentsha ka tla di fuma na kai ha re bua se gwa ga sa ikotse se fuba ka bo sotho ba rona Nake mo tlo tlo go be ke mmona ka jene ke le mosotho ke tse ba go ipolela gore ke mo hlakona mo maphulo ya di sema maile mangwe thela motho a sa jeng poliko ya maobana e mba ga ha ke re motho a ipolele be ha itsebi me ne ke yo mathebile la mmona ha e mo lente to mhangi a ke ba bona fela ke a thuthumela na go ene se ka ofe me hala ya bona di email is a bona le tsa ba mamedi ka ntho e leng fela Jacoba University A. Leka had to in a reposing as a one as a tobacco. It is to say how whole who quit his batch, huh? But at the whole balloons has a pill. Listen the FM. Cabo who did was flashed one. Caho Ebe Bashla Hissi. Ebe Bamodi Badi Buka. In the Timacas will have a pill in ga se rena le lenaneo le le tshale ga le qadileng ga se le mosana manane o sekala ka la pele mmese mo re fang ba ngodi ba di buka tsa sesotho mo nyetla wa go bapatsa mo sebetsi wa bona le go di manolla go ba ba bua ka bophelo bo rona re le ba sotho ga bophela le go re ka intlafatsa jwang mathata e rena le ona re ka fenya jwang Make a little bit of why you plan to move to Abu Anga? Yona, how is it you are not to look at Layona? Because you are not sure how whole you are going to be. So, how whole? Look at the Palinga Mall. Because you are about to go to land Bali. When you are going to leave, chances to go to Chile to get money. How can you do that? And you are going to to But you are going to land Tonya and you are going Isn't a mole pali, it's a lang, it's a dula in the in a fella bato. Ibile eba root, a canapoyo, eba palitizolicity. 
ke a ipileza ho lona batsha ho monyetla ke ona ha re se ga o tlwela o refete ho university ina ya free study ga mo tlotlo ha ho ka sena so le sentseng ka jeng ke qalo ya menyetla e mengata e tla le hore thusa hore ga se ga nyatsa ga se ga swabela le se hore le nsona ke le ka utlwa le mme hana bua pela re o batla am i am sorry for not being able to speak in you don't have to be apologetic about it you don't have to be apologetic about it how le mosotho o le mozulu o le mthosa be proud of it and speak your language fluently with pride Felile se dia femo ka tsotsietsa university ena me sentse re sebetsa mo ho hagolo le pensalbo le bonta te mahanke le batho bohle ka ofela gore re bone hore na re ka intla fatsa tsanga le basotho empatara me ke le be selebiso la ha o tla ntshwarela o ile ntlha bohlokwa go lona e qala ka malapi thupa e kojwa e salemetse ha se ke so fetse ke le moka o batla go nthuta go ha o na nthwe thata go le ka yeng ka ba khalimela tsa tsile tshamane le dikelang e ya kena tsa senela go sane ke le be tsena go itsweng jwa le sebile ga nane le nane o le neng hapela ga le qadileng le kena ka motreng mo go balwang bana dibuka le bona ga batla ba ithute gore ba tsebe go bala se sotho ba tsebe go bua puo ya bona ha monati e hlwekile e bile e ne ba hetse ga tamya re qale mo bana ha re qala re segele hodimo e ba thatanyana ha re thusaneng ka ofela le lona le re fele bona bana ba o re ya ba hloka hore ba nne ba tle le bona ba tlo ithuta le batho bana le dibuka go lotse monati nyana la tsaba bana ba gata dibuka tsa monati nyana thank you very much na go yona e re jile e mpa he ha re ke re a mo hele tsa ke jere mo ngaka ka go dotsa jere mo fuke o tla ithalosa ke mo fuke me ke a le ba ditsite ke go pa o go tla ke tsatsi o go sisiye le mo o go tla ditse o go wa le ona ga ba go yeletse a go fosta le mo mo ka tsotsi wa ngomanya wa ngomanya mmino मुसुए o ngotse sotho se iphotlileng se monate le melena la ka lena lo ra ra hala mona le mane please allow me to get a word or two wrong fela i am intent on reading this an unpublished author with more than 40 poems but here is what he writes khodimo di le rokile o le hlaha tshaina le bifile mono mono wa ha e ka ka ho tla fiti ya lehlo o ke mo gwampiri o mo phatswa khorona ba sotho se nang le iketsa ba ha manganga manganga ile le ba tsho ba mausuwa go bo dikola ha ntle ntle ha tlela matso ho gafetsa le dule mahai go mo e hlajwa ha mafube a hlaha tsatsi le tshaba re tshwetletse dinala go ha ha se re bo phiri se jile ha ho thuse batho ha bo mo hale ho phelwa ka manina ke bone ha bo bo i ha ho luwe di jojela go ha bo khang ha ho jwe letho le nna ke bone ye ba nna ntho ke o ifeta le fifing la pula ke ntsho e lepinyana e ka hoja ha e na le sebopeho ba mba ibitsa ka mabitso khorona 
COVID-19 ya kwenye batu huya masiswa ni ratea ni khanyara omel lantani rasala ripu peri jolo kamu khotu wapili this is from a high school teacher la mwana makilinti me me ki me manini hutsua risidi fm watla mpatse ke ho letse ke hlaetse Orlando West ka tsamaya ka dula le sotho le motse ka bantse supileng e tsa ke khutlela ka gauteng mosuwe o re ho nna ja ga me ya complain o ja pere ke re me minisi ha ke se pere ke ja tongi as the laughing stock since that day why ho bane ke bua se sotho jwa le ka kwata ke tala and it happens all the time that we want to adapt we want to change we want to be seen not to be stupid because our languages are seen to be stupid and uneducated ha ke tsa mae ke a skolong ke fumane a full bright scholarship my professor says to me jerry no 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 ne re ke re ke lebelele na eng ke fihla skolong america mani ho cafeing go re fumana dijo jo le line ntse tsa mae ntse tsa mae jo le ke batla na half done x brother here who come from africa and i soon learned how it's called sunny side up the following day this african is in line and he wants the same half done eggs and i'm thinking sunrise sunshine sunset sunbeam sun i couldn't get it right and then i stand aside and somebody orders sun sun inside up and, and then they give i say i want that i want that that yeah that's what i want and then i remembered what my professor had said to me when i left south africa he says when you get into america these people will say yo man you can't kind of speak funny where you come from he says us ka ba itsweng and that us ka ba itsweng e re fela eh eh na i am i come from africa that's why i speak like this but you are also speaking funny where do you come from <laughs> because depending on who the power is that's who is funny who is correct who is the measuring stick just like we had white and non whites in the past as a drama student at Bert drama school i realized that my classmates were allowed to do some of their practicals in africans because there were poems and there were dramatic scripts in africans and garla hlanya le nna ke batla ntsa sotho and i did my practical in sotho don't tell me there is no examiner who understands this so that's your problem i want to do my poem and my practicals in sotho this initiative is meant to give that student a text that they can perform in sesotho when i was to get my qualifications columbia university but man we can't give you a master's degree without a foreign language there no no problem i want sesotho to be my foreign language <laughs> It's an official language from a sovereign country. Don't tell me that you can do your research, I'll give you references and you can call the embassy. And I got my qualifications. Yes. Here's what I'm saying. It's about time we stop apologizing for being Basoto Matosa Bavenga Matsonga. It's it's up to us to live differently. Now, the foundations for the love for the poetic expression of Sesotho comes from the Shakespeare of the waves man. On radio, one to call Motofela Machet in a program called Mpolele. 
Joy. Yadu me di sa kwe na. Mbrayo. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 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 he spoke as if he was possessed. When he saw that might, something went through the airwaves that made you kind of feel, why must this program end? And men, nini, kikiki men, 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 men. I want to publicly make a request. I've been trying for years to find the archives. Because if we're going to train these young people on how to get the magic behind the mic, they need to hear Motofela Macheta. They need to read those poems that he read. I'll confess to you, one day I was doing Kinaluza program Tinata television, and I went into the studio, and, and there was a poem that had been submitted by Mumamedi, and, and it was supposed to be read. I tried to read it. Yes, yes I needed a language coach. <laughs> I did. But that just said the writer had done justice in what they were writing. But we need a point of reference. I had a teacher who taught me Hore, any claim of originality is a sign of ignorance. I'll repeat that. Any claim of originality is a sign of ignorance. If you think you are the first one to write a Sesotho book that does what you think you're doing, it shows you haven't read Sesotho literature. And so let us learn from our forebears. I read it more than 40 years ago, 50 possibly. And so it remains my wish that we will find those archives and make them accessible to the students. Maybe even the university should consider assigning a postgrad study on the work of Motofela Machet. So that it's not just me getting excited here as an artist. You can read and study and have access to and you know who the Macheta of It was that program that became the title of a theatrical production in which I told the folk tales of Basutu. And all the with the late Sepotsula, Tinam Numzani, and the late Pius and I've had the participation already. Why is it that the things that are European are art, but what is black is development? But we shouldn't chat toy toy about that. We should put professional works on our stages, in our libraries, and on the CDFM. So that you watch, you listen, you read those things, and you just think, that is the Shakespeare of the airwaves. I did the film, this is not a burial, this is a resurrection. And when we were doing that film, but I translated her into English. And then when we went into Lesotho, there was a dramaturg a literary advisor who did what pencil does to say, no, that word kisses so too, but it's not quite correct. And they watched every word 
it. Every sentence that was in that film. I, 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 I ask you to find, get it on, on is it on Mnet or one of Showmax, those platforms, and listen to the language. Yes, Mary Twala struggled with it, but at least she got the character absolutely right. Absolutely right. And so I did a little project called Masutsa, and I took a Sisutu novel. I don't remember Horna Gimanga Imutsing. Hunale, Hunale novel to Utunke Mutsuan. I get to know now, and I get to know. And then I took uh, the poems, Tsaba Sutu, and Kawikidi Kopa, and Geta Masutsa, and put them on a professional stage, Johannesburg Theatre. By it. We have the new democracy, but we are reluctant to respect ourselves. Yes, Susoto production gets less of a budget than an Arthur Figured play. Why? It's our fault. It's our fault. Because we do not respect what is us. I did the Mbulele that I told you about. Sepotsola. I did great man's song, great man's song, talking about me mantub, a woman ahead of her times. What do you call somebody who is a prophet when there are no uh, biblical influences and there are no sangomas, but this person is able to foretell the future? But because and she lived in that time, the records are very scanty. Those are the people we need to learn about. And if people can see that and realize it and, and take it in on a theatrical production that absolutely does justice to the story and to the language, it is unforgettable. And there's a lot of biographies waiting to be written in all the different platforms. I wrote my father's daughter. My father's daughter. When I had to go to Kibaka, I was like, 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 I I don't know if you can close your eyes and imagine a, an entire village, roofless and everything burnt and the doors still with, with, with smoke that comes from the fire from last night. Hubani, those people were seen to be harboring what we in South Africa might call a terrorist. I remember auditioning an actor to play one of the roles, and he read the script and he said, Lachal, I can't. I can't. It's too close to the bone. I can't. I have family who died through commands. I had, I had an uncle who went to, to live in Kwakwa, walked from Butabute to live there. And so what does an African languages university press mean to me? A few things. It's to provide a platform in which our languages can be expressed at the highest possible level through different genres. But I, I have no difficulty, I, I have nothing against self-publication. However, please watch out for you are the writer, you are the editor, you are the everything. And somehow, just like in theatre, when you write a play, there are blind spots, there are Achilles heels, there are, and, and other people are able to bring a certain depth to your work. And so, please don't be in a hurry to self-publish. And, and we need each other. We need each other. Let other people really talk to you about your work. I know to us, your baby is the best baby, but there are things you might just not see. Otherwise, you might just write a pamphlet and not a book. 
As kids, I, I just want to agitate you, just so that you understand. Yes, it's printed, yes, it has a cover, but is it a book really? Is it a book? And, and because I have said I do not want our books to be seen to be uh, development, they must stand the test of time, of environment, it, it, it must be translated into Russian, into all those, and stand its ground because there is everything that's required of literature of that genre. It's to give indigenous language writers a platform that respects, understands, and interprets or appreciates their works, which are originated in their mother tongue. I, I remember, uh, I, I was one of the panelists for a while uh, where people submitted their uh, ideas for television dramas for SABC. And, and the question was always, why you, you see a play, you hear it, that's a suit. In Bajola, how you remember to SABC, you must translate it into English because the readers do not quite understand understand and appreciate the suit. And then thereafter, the actors, it must be translated back into the suit And I think what this press is about is we can originate in our languages. There are things you can't say in English. You can't. And, and when you're supposed to translate, what are you going to say? Huh? Well, anyway, <laughs> when you write a script for an opening night in a professional theater stage, you must know theater. You must understand that the script is a score for performance and not just talking heads. And 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 that's my hanky. I, I sometimes have had difficulty because I've seen some of the books that are prescribed to Godi High School for drama. And, and people write talking heads. Talking heads. People think you write this one speaks to, that one speaks to, you just have names, a, a few words, names, but, but there's no drama. And so that text is written for the class, it's not written for theater. There's no understanding of theater in the text. And I know there have been attempts to try and stage those works. And I remember somebody doing a production and they asked for my help. And I say, you can't. Say, no, you can't. You can't put that moment on. The university brings the rigor and discipline necessary for that script to stand the test of time. You know, when you look at a script and you say, this needs another, take it back to the writing board. Your characterization is not consistent. You know, when, when, when you write as a writer, you can't afford to have a play that has seven different names of characters. Marhao Mamela, what they are saying, it's seven Jerry's talking to each other. <laughs> the writing people, I can't write. You can't have seven Jerry's talking to each other. And so you say, no, take it back. The, the, everyone has a language register. They, they have a history that they bring to this play. And that's what the university or whatever forum that looks at the quality of the writings. The press is not there to become a censorship board, but to stretch the author beyond mere talent. And this applies to all the genres in which we can choose to our, our writings to. There are translations to be made. I, I, I look forward, I look forward to a shepherd 
matswapong a thabatsa kwa la hitimo eh simongo a ba la buka o tsho tsing na ke monna mona re ka bua gore a meme le ba le buka e na meme e la challenge na e help and fela le mudisa mudisa mona le mano tsa mabua a hanana le na re ya hlanya kota e but at least he knows what he disagrees with. There are many books that are waiting to be translated. For me, I want to see uh, Zeke's and Dad's plays in Sesotho. I do. I want to see uh, Sizo Banzi is dead and the island in Sikos. I'd like to see that. Welcome, so me did a Zulu version of Macbeth called Umabata. I don't know if anyone has heard about that. About six years ago, we did an Africans version of a, a, a classic text, a, a, a German uh, author called Mother Courage Brecht. And we did it in Africans, first word to the last word. We can do it in Sesotho, 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 and all those. There are reprints to be done. So we work at Sona. There are anthologies. And I'd like to request further that let us have book readings. And and now, if it becomes necessary to train those people on how to create the theater of the mind through the mic. Let's talk. Let's talk. I want to say just briefly, I, I am associated with the National Film and Video Foundation. One of the things that we do is we do funding for filmmakers. You fund development. It's important for people to have the space to develop. And please, if there is such a funding, let us please help people to go and sit down for a week or so and incubate. And then one of the things we do is we have different tiers of funding. Tier one is the professionals, who have always written, and you, you just say to them, you commission them to write something and give them the money that is necessary. I don't know why we are afraid to pay professionals. And then there are those who have done it, but they still need assistance, level tier two. Tier three is entry level. And please, I'm asking, you can't expect artists to get it right the first time and all the time. We need the space to have a rewrite, to have another week of rehearsal. And I thank God for the partnerships say Officer Lona Chinet and Chintate Marcus have created in this room. Let's not go back and work in silos. Let's work together and make it happen. Thank you. Brajeri, ako rai kokot. Empa ki kupa hobita meji net mulopian. Hore ato ribule la kamon lao. Hore juale rekadile hatiso. Ayete mulao. Abule ka mulao. Good. Kona mai kwa hokutu. African prayer languages press. Arbe mutsutsuka yona re itsietse. Hare limo rika kopanda te monde madiba atori lebo hela he. Hare limo mijinet. Thank you, Emmanuel. Ita limo na kuri sante isi ezima. 
Und auch bei uns her schießt es so wie ein Schatten. Und so Bella, die Uchi, die Uchi, die Kapu, die Kapu, die so Bonga, die Gokala, und die Demarkas, die I consider to be the engine behind these things, Marcus, for all. I'm sure you've been having sleepless nights. And look at your baby now, it's finally, after nine months, I would like uh, all of us to give Marcus a round of applause. <laughs> and also move on to uh, our boss, Meiji Nesh. Thank you for giving us all the support. And uh, if it was not for the support, we wouldn't be here. And also I remember some years back, and uh, that they be, and they maybe and that uh, Dr. Mahange will remember when one of the um, uh, uh, rooms we called 433 some time back when we were talking about this. And I'm sure when you look at it now, you can see where we're coming from, that sometimes things do come through. And also uh, to uh, Dr. Numalunge uh, Lungobane, where I come from, uh, my great grandmother uh, is in Mubane Mbovu. So I was told when I come across a, a girl, the first thing that I might do is go to Oshana Zabuk. And then when she says it from Mbovu, then I stay away from that girl. <laughs> so, um, Zala. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I also want to thank Me Niki Matebul for the um, uh, uh, wonderful presentation. And, for the, and also for the advice, I mean, there are small things that we take for granted, like the interpreters. I know a CUG, the world is a, a course in, 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 in language practice. Why can't we bring such people in, a, in, in, in an environment like this one? We've, we've taken a note of that. And also, uh, in his absence, Mbubuyo uh, Jacobs. Mbubuyo, I always consider him as one of the most committed SRC president I've ever come across and we've got an interest and passion when it comes to the library. Without uh, giving away my age, I always, uh, 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 when I look at well, the way he's doing things and uh, his commitment towards the library, the only person I know when I was a student was very committed in, 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 in that day, Ken uh, Began, uh, who I told you was my service president at that time, not giving away my age. <laughs> and also, I would like to uh, thank uh, Ms. Notula from National Library. Um, I remember on the 15th of March, we had the National Librarian here. We had invited him because we've got a problem with the National Drama Library, which has been uh, closed for more than three years. So we invited him, and uh, he was here and gave, gave us uh, a lot of, of um, of advice in terms of what is that we should do. I understand you are also going to check the, the National Drama Library. We, we are very excited to have you in our midst. And also I would like to, to say thank you to David. Uh, you were here in 1998. I took up my calculator so to calculate check of your age. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And from also from the CDFM, we are very excited that you You've got a slot now where you're going to accommodate all the, the, the writers. This is something that we've been looking forward to. Thanks, Mayor Manin, for, for, for that. And we're looking forward to have some of the books that will come out of this press and the writers to, to be part of the, of, the, of the program. And I cannot wait. And uh, Dr. Fukin, you've spoken about three times about Russians. And I'm not sure if they are aware that the Russians are coming to South Africa after Ukraine <laughs> because of what we're doing to them, we're eating Russians. <laughs> so I'm told they are going to be coming to uh, uh, attack South Africa, so let us be ready. <laughs> and also colleagues, I would also like to thank you, uh, Men uh, Limpo. Um, Men Limpo is our neighbor here at CTL. Every time when we've got um, Programs of the weather in Yasa, all the programs that we always have in the library, she's always here. Thank you, me. I would like you uh, to also give a round of applause. I also, in, uh, just in closing, uh, uh, to also thank again Medinet, uh, 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 for officially uh, um, 
making uh, for officially opening this uh, uh, library, the press, the African press. But I also want to indicate that last year we launched what is called uh, the book fair, the first of its kind. It's called Saint Frisol. Central University of, of, of Technology, University of Free State, and Solipology. That was in November. So I am, am, am promising that uh, in the next two or three years, all the books that will come out of this uh, press market, we will also invite all the writers every time because it's going to be a, 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 an annual event. So we are going to host also all the writers. But we're also looking forward to if there are also writers here, from especially the African languages, to be part of the Saint Free Soul Book Fair, because we want to uh, to make it show that if the reason why we did, we, we came up with this idea of the Saint Free Soul is to make sure that we all the, the African uh, languages are accommodated. Because if you look at all your Cape Town Book Fair, the, the focus is more into the, the English uh, uh, writers, but the Saint Free Soul we said it must focus more on the on the, on the African uh, uh, languages. And also, uh, I know that we've got the, uh, a, a memo that talked about the classics. And um, I, I think now, which it is time now that we've got this uh, Afri uh, African languages press, that now we, we start um, introducing the new, the new, what is happening, the current uh, things. When that they, uh, and the demo we talked about yesterday that it's important that for students they must be able to engage, they must be able to know and be able to critically engage with each other and be able to be aware that when my points differ from yours, I must accept your points as different from mine. So we want such type of books, even from this uh, African language press. And I'm looking forward to the launch of the first book. And in closing, I also want to thank the members of the audience, all of you, for coming and gracing this occasion. And I'm looking forward to the launch of the, of the first book. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Impa <laughs> Joale, qui fit la tête longue, qui le boit au Minahan et le Batuba, il m'a mis en bas de ring hand. Joale, Gabekiriki Munna, Impaki Munna, he said he is a man. Well, yes, he is. Mona Libuka entire tete Jerimu Fukimonu, a sense if Fumaneha got two hundred and thirty rand. Irifela kimuna yena wa ithalo sa gona ke ma o re ke thele ke mo ke mo fukeng jwa le a re bontsha re hopotsa le ba fukeng ba ise ba robetse ha re o ibalang re reke rutlo gona o reng ha ithalo sa yena o ke mo fukeng mohlomo go ba botwa ba finyela wa tsebetse telele ha re tsebi tsamaya lo utlwa bukaeno no ke han ke a le bo a bana beso